Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot for Minecraft 18w49a. We will also be covering the snapshot 18w48b and a few features from the 18w48a snapshot that I did cover but I missed a few things. So let's first of all take a look at those right now. Alright, so in the last snapshot video I did, I covered the 18w48a snapshot, but apparently the Minecraft wiki updated after I did that video and introduced some new things that I didn't know about last time. So let's take a look at those. First off, the barrel, bell, blast furnace, brewing stand, cartography table, fletching table, lectern, loom, smoker, smithing table, and stone cutter can now generate naturally inside plain villages. So that's a very interesting thing to note. We did see, I believe it was the fletching table in one of the buildings. So I guess that is one of the naturally generated blocks. I don't know if it's only in that building or the other ones, but that is one thing to keep in mind. Grass paths change their texture. Um, vines can now be climbed without supporting blocks. So let us actually test that by quickly getting a vine. So if I were to build up like this and have it like this, okay, so first I need to place the vine just like that. I would need to remove the stone. So now I can, by holding, I'm going over to it and then I'm pressing my space bar. I'm holding down space to climb the vine. If I just go through it like a normal ladder, I just go through it. If we take a look, if this was a ladder, for example, Let's put it over here, ladder, and we took a ladder, I would naturally be just walking forward, but of course we can't do that here because then we will pass through it. If I go over to a ladder and play, press space bar, of course I will also be going up. So it's basically the same thing. So that is actually very handy. I remember it being very annoying in the previous Minecraft versions where you have to actually have some support to climb the, the wines which didn't really make sense because obviously it is something that you can just climb on without being any support. But of course here, if we, yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, no. So that is really cool, especially because you can just place a line there and it will grow naturally down. So eventually you can have some pretty cool ladders like that. A change they did to villagers actually, they slightly modified traits of villagers. They don't say what specifically, but I guess that's a thing to keep in mind as well. All right, so now we have some updates actually to the dedicated servers. First off, the server.properties file. Difficulty and game mode settings now accept string names. Integer values are still allowed as legacy option. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. So we'll now exit faster if eula.txt is that set. The command line, some new stuff has been added there. Added new option, slash slash or minus minus help. Added new command line option in its settings, just like that. And that the in its settings initializes the eula.txt and server.properties with defaults, then exits. That is actually pretty cool right there to dedicate it. So, but that is basically the stuff that I missed from the 18w48a snapshot. Quickly, gonna talk about the 18w48b, which only has some fixes. Let's take a look at them. So it is four issues fixed from the re released versions before 1.14 and from the 1.14 development versions and from the previous development version. Specifically one of them I'm interested in because it said it says generating chunks and using slash locate causes a data fixer crash, which I think was the thing I experienced in the last video because I tried using the slash locate command to find a village and each time I would get teleported to one, it crashed my game and I couldn't actually load up the game. I believe I put some text in the end of the video. Um, explaining a bit of that. So I think that bug has been fixed. But other than that, from the previous development version, there are these two um, issues fixed. The crashing one and then another thing with server ports, server slash port ignored in the server.properties file. Then we got a fix from the 1.14 development versions. Um, water blocks breaking on world generation with stone break sound and water particles fixed. And then from released versions before 1.14, being 
only slightly inside solid block in spectator mode makes sky go dark. So that has been fixed as well. Now with that all out of the way, now we can take a look at the 18W49A and I'm super excited. So let's get started. And the reason I'm so excited is because they have added so many new things also related to the last ATW48A snapshot. Let's take a look at the first one, berry bushes. Yes, finally, some new type of crop that is not found on the land just like that. Actually, some sort of bush. Um, they are commonly found in Tiger, Tiger Hills and Tiger Mountains. Rarely found in Snowy Tiger and Snowy Tiger Hills and Snowy Tiger Mountain biomes. So, if we take a look here. Of course, with, um, there we go, sweet berries, lovely. So, of course, with berry bushes, of course, they have to be a berry. And this is it right here. Um, if we type bush, we do not see a bush here. So, this is interesting. If I just quickly get a hoe, I wonder if you just... Okay, so you actually... Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> you just found them like that. Um... And it says also, any mobs can stand inside them, but they can deal damage similar, similar to cactus if the mob isn't standing still. Okay, so now I'm obviously in creative mode. If I go into survival mode, I guess it's when it's full. If I just grow this to the owl. Okay, so there, there we go. If I stand still, it doesn't do anything. But if I move through it, ow, it hurts a lot. Also, if there's berries on it, of course, but to, f to harvest them, you just right click it and you get the berry and these berries aren't actually giving too many hunger points. Oh, oh, you actually don't need to um, grow them on tilted farm and you can just grow them like that. Okay, so that is really cool. That is something that I really like. All right, but let us try and eat one. Okay, yes, it restores like 100 hunger point out of your 10. Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, they're broken just like that. I don't know if that is intentional or not, but I don't, it, eh, it should be just like that, but maybe a bit, bit quicker or something, but that is pretty cool. Of course, you see they support bone meal. Um, it has four stages in growth, sapling, no berries, some berries, full berries. So, whoa, whoopsie, wrong thing. <laughs> um, it can drop between one to two berries in younger stage and two to three in full growth stage. So that is really cool. And of course, it can be planted from berries. So that is really cool. Mostly found in tiger biomes. And I love these. Very cool and very fun. Um, I think it's a great addition to Minecraft to finally be adding some berries. And I'm guessing that some animal animals will now also be soon be supporting the berries to be eaten. That we can see some of them are actually growing into stage two. So that is really cool. And that is the berry bushes and berries pretty much covered. And let's now go to the world generation, which is another thing that I'm super excited about. And the reason why I'm so excited about it is the following sentence. Added snowy tundra villages. Yes, a new biome, or not a new biome, but a biome finally gets a new village. And oh, maybe if I went into creative mode, I could actually fly. Um, now, I am not near a snowy tundra, but when you find those, there is a possibility of finding a, a village, which I really like the idea of possibilities of finding more villages in different biomes. So that is really cool. I can try and do slash locate, but before I do that, they added or they updated another village. And I believe it is the same they did with the Plains village. I'm not sure. We will have to find out. They say updated Savannah villages. So if I can type, I will try and find a new village just like that. And hopefully there we go. The nearest new village is that. Hopefully, my game doesn't crash, and hopefully, we get, oh, it's, it's just a, it's just another plains, um, village, but we can actually see the blacksmith here, which was updated, and here we have the grindstone, and finally they added a door and a chest with apparently no loot, so that's, that's fine. I'm gonna try and do it again, 41 blocks away. Okay, so unfortunately, it cannot find one 
close to here so i think i will have to maybe do a bit of world generation to hopefully find a savannah biome with a new um with an updated village so i think i will do that and yeah get right back to it but just while i'm flying around here i might as well explain some more stuff because we have some changes to gameplay for example with the bad omen effect, if you have the bad omen effect and you enter a village, it will spawn a raid. But there are now two waves per bad omen level. So that is pretty interesting and makes it even more dangerous, of course. Illogic beasts now have a possibility of, of being a part of every wave. So that is... Ugh, you really gotta be careful then. <laughs> um... And the player now has to complete a wave before the next one starts. And this is not one of the newer villages, as we can clearly see. This is with the old buildings and designs and the old blacksmith and everything. Um, obviously, the new grindstone is here. So this is not a village that we are looking for currently, but I'm going to head in this direction. Um, and the raid boss bar will now slowly fill up when a raid is triggered. So that is the gameplay changes, actually. Um, also, there are some technical stuff with some command format. They say added a new loot table function, copy underscore nbt. Now I have said this so many times, I am not really into commands. I am a little bit, but I don't know all the technical details that I, as I'm not a map, map maker and I don't know much about those things. So I mention it, but I don't go in further detail than that as, um, as it wouldn't make any sense because I basically don't know what I'm talking about. But that is pretty much it. Other than that, we have 13 issues fixed. One from release versions before 1.14 and then the rest from the 1.14 development versions. So that is pretty cool right there. Now I will cut out and be back hopefully when I find either the new village in Tiger Biomes or, or the Tiger, the specific Tiger Biome or, sorry, Snowy Tundra, I believe it was. Or, oh, another Plains Village. Um, yeah, or I find a Savannah, which could take a while, but I'll be searching. So I'll be right back when I find either one of those two. And actually, we have something interesting over here. Looks like some sort of booth, actually. We did not see this in the previous snapshot, so that is why I'm kind of showing this as well. Looks like we might have some glitches here. Um, but other than that, not bad. But I'll continue my search and I will be back when I find... Oh, a savannah. Okay, this is really good. Yes, I'll be back when I find something interesting. Stay tuned. And literally only seconds after I said that, I discovered a savannah village. The other village was over there. You could actually see the building right there. And this is the updated savannah village so you know what let's take a look here the buildings actually look quite um not the same so i think we should take a look at this village just like we did with the plains one building for building and see what has changed and the first thing i see is that these farms look much more like um much more like i don't know natural or more like it maybe would be if it was out in the wild, I'm not sure, but you can see they have some wheat seeds here. They have the path going through, um, and we have the buildings, the pigs roaming around, and of course the hay bales over there randomly scattered around. And and I actually see some barrels here naturally generated at this structure, but let's take a look at this one first. So first off, we got the path leading into it. And we have these acacia fences around it and the actually the brown banner, which is pretty cool. We have some glass here um, and the door. We have the stripped acacia logs here. We have a grindstone. You know what? Let me just turn that auto jump off. That's really annoying. We've got a makeshift table here with some wool white carpet. I really like this, that they have used the striped acacia log. We have a stair there, I guess, for a chair. Then over here we have this tower, kind of like a witch hut thing with um, these barrels around it. Wow, really not much space in here. I'm not sure what this is meant to be like, but maybe... I don't know if the water is intentional or not, but I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, 
we still have some wheat growing. I like how it's just growing on the like the side of the pathways. It looks really cool. Then we have this, have this one over here again, brown banners. We have some non-script acacia logs. We got this smooth stone block. We got some cauldrons actually with water in it. And they've used yellow terracotta, which is interesting, and a chest with a saddle in it. Of course, I can guarantee that you'll find a saddle every time. We also, again, have some randomly placed hay bales. I like the fact that they are random, randomly placed. And we got the new bell here um, with some sort of water area, I think. Um, I would guess this is like a well, so I would suggest making it like deeper. But if it's not supposed to be a well, of course, then it's not supposed to be a well. Um, I guess this is like a... Supposed to be somewhat like a bridge or something. I'm not sure. Over here we got a... Oh, we have a bucket actually. Some grass, acacia logs. An orange bit, which nicely fits with the acacia theme. We got some like sitting area with a makeshift table. Again, I believe every house has a torch in it and plenty of torches outside too, to keep the place lit up. Looks like we got some sort of very interesting looking building. They have used yellow terracotta and red terracotta and red in the middle here as well. With some, I guess this is supposed to be benches and a brewing stand, which is really interesting. I don't think it was possible to find a brewing stand before, so you were forced to go into the nether to try and find some blazes to get a blaze rod and then craft one, but now you can actually find it in the overworld. I'm sure this is not intended, but we got a little <laughs> a, um, a waterfall here. But let's take a look at this one first. We got, oh, it's just the same like the other one, some food in there and an orange bit. Um, oh, we got melons here to the side. That is really, really cool. Because previously, I believe the only way to get melons was to either get to a jungle or to get um, the melon seeds from a chest, which is, that's that's really cool. I'm guessing you might be able to find pumpkins as well, but I'm not sure. Um, looks like we are farming again some wheat. We have some melon seeds here, so maybe they were growing some. Actually, this right here, that's a melon plant right there. So I like how they are growing different things. Actually, here we can see they have um, the melon melon plants here, randomly scattered throughout the... Um, the field there, that's really cool. Um, actually, we have a blast furnace in here and a orange glazed terracotta. We got the wool and wood, sorry, and orange terracotta in here. Um, with this supposed to be looking like a chimney, I guess, which actually has that effect. I gotta say it's like this area and it goes up. That's actually pretty cool. Of course, the blast furnace does still not have a function to them, but I'm sure that will be coming in the future. I think this is the final building up here, made with complete yellow, yellow terracotta and a pointy-ish roof. And we got a makeshift table here. And we also got a bit. And yes, I don't know if this log right here is a mistake or not, but I guess it could be. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Again, I love how these farms are in this village, not those chunky ones that you find, but actually looking like more natural and just that they are at the sides of the pathways and that they are growing different things in one area. That is actually pretty cool. But I think actually that is it for the village here. I don't think we have, of course, the grindstone there. Um, did we have a grindstone in this one too? Yes, we did. Okay, pretty cool. I think that is everything this village has to offer. Um, we have a bit of path and again, more of this farm. I love it. Over here and some random hay bales. But that is the um, Savannah Village updated. Really cool. New buildings. I absolutely love it. This is going to be way more interesting now to find villages and explore them than before where you directly went to the blacksmith <laughs> to see if there was a chest in there. I've still not found a um, tundra biome, so I'm going to keep looking a little bit and then be right back if I find one. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I generated a new world where I got the tundra biome generated and or the stowy 
tundra biome generated and here is the tundra village i actually just spawned in this block right here at this village so that is perfect we also got another one over there which we might take a look at it is kind of looking interesting over there but i'm gonna take a look at this one first so let's quickly cover this one before this video gets too long um we have this i don't think this is new but i don't think i've ever seen like the grass being gray like this but i'm i guess that's maybe uh, Actually, I don't know. It looks like it's only close to the water. But let's begin the tour of this village right here. So we have an igloo here. Um, very small. We got some stone in here. We got two doors. We got a seat and I guess a makeshift table. We have the smoker, which again has no effect to it. But certainly we'll have it in the future, hopefully. We have... I like this up here. I like that um, they added that for like a an effect. Also, we have the lantern here, which is looking really cool. And of course, the blast furnace and a chest in here with an emerald. So that is pretty cool right there. And again, torches. And this is supposed to look like a, a chimney, which is definitely having that effect, especially with that up there looking really good. I see the use of lanterns definitely fits the theme. We got a blue bed here and two normal furnaces. Nothing behind them, though. But really cool. The lanterns there, stripped spruce wood, and I like the design of these buildings. I, again, I don't know if that right there is a mistake or not. Looks like these two are the same. So inside we have coal ore. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure that is intentional. Again, two emeralds here, really interesting. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. Ooh, two more emeralds. Okay, so I guess this is like a smith type of buildings is it has these kind of things i'm guessing the um the coal in that one wasn't intentional but um yeah we got that and we got this kind of small one but leading us to a smithing table and another lantern placed like that which i don't think you were able to uh yes i think you were just you can just place it on the walls that's what's this thing but um the smithing table which of course don't have a functionality yet so this is like a, another smithing type structure, another igloo, a little bit different, a white bit and like a table area with the stairs as chairs, I believe, or I guess another building with a brewing stand with the lanterns as well. I don't see any torches in here, which is interesting, but again, you can find a brewing stand in there. That is pretty cool. We got a building over here and a zombie somewhere. Um, Again, just leading to another smithing table. We've already really looked at that. Some random snow blocks near here. And a, like a packed ice igloo house area with a spruce log and, and um, a blue bed. There we go. He shall no longer be annoying these villages. Um, we also got these, these lanterns here with the well, lanterns. That's pretty cool. Again, eyes just get it. I like this type of lantern where it's like a doing it in all directions. Again, we have this like center area um, with a bell. No, um, no well here, which kind of makes sense. And also no farms, actually. Looking at it, only water and ice packed here and there. Um, in another building with like a makeshift table with blue carpet and chairs as stairs as chairs sorry and the fletching table um generated in here pretty cool Ooh, we have the um the lectern here and we have books a lot of bookshelves which is interesting yeah, kind of yeah yeah books and the lectern which i don't know what um will be used for but definitely interesting. We got this building over here. I don't remember if we were in. Okay, yes, we were. Has like a tower thing up here. Looks pretty cool. Um, I believe this is not part of the actual village. As you can find these separately. So I don't think this is anything to, has anything to do with the village. But um, yeah, that is the new Snowy Tundra village. 
really cool. I definitely like the use of lanterns here and the usage of like snow being here and there and the yeah the lanterns pretty much everywhere and I like the sort of buildings. Definitely <laughs> fits the fits the theme. We have another one over there. Let me just quickly take a look at that. Maybe there's a building that we have here that we don't have. Definitely have something interesting. Okay. Um okay so this is another building um with another blast furnace some stairs there i keep switched about are about to switch the woods around around with stairs and chairs um another another chimney type thing and i believe this might be the the new blacksmith in the snowy tundra we got the lava here i like the usage of diorite here and the iron bars of course grindstone we got a chest with obsidian and iron boots etc and another grindstone actually Really cool. I don't know. I guess the die right here might be intentional, like it's the grinding area, just like it is here. Um, some packed ice, and what is this? Blue ice. Okay, that's interesting. We got a. Oh, here we got some farm area with a lantern in the middle here. What are they growing? They're growing potatoes here. Okay, so we can find farms like that here and there. And of course, another blacksmith over here with a grindstone, some more stuff in here, and another grindstone. So I believe the diorite is definitely intentional. We got the lava here. I don't know if the coal ore is intentional. Or here, if it's just like randomized, I don't know that. But um, could be, could be, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is the news, Snowy Tundra villages and buildings that you may encounter. Well, that'll be it for this video where we covered the ATW 49A snapshot and also a few things about the ATW 48A and B snapshot. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Join my Discord down below, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and enjoy playing with this new snapshot if you are. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.